Arthur Stanton Eric Art Johnson is an American comic actor who was a regular on television's Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In. His best remembered character was that of a German soldier with the catchphrase very interesting, sometimes followed by, but stupid, or, but not very funny. Biography Equals Early Life Equals Johnson was born January 20, 1929 in Benton Harbor, Michigan and is the son of Abraham Lincoln and Edith Mackenzie Johnson. His father was an attorney. Art Johnson attended the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, Illinois. He worked at the campus radio station and the UI Theater Guild with his brother Koslav Kos Johnson, and graduated in 1949. He sought employment in Chicago advertising agencies but was unsuccessful and left for New York City to work for Viking Press. In early 1954, Johnson performed in several New York nightclubs, including La Rube and Blow and the Village Vanguard. His first job in show business came when he impulsively stepped into an audition line and was cast in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. Johnson appeared in Ben Bagley's The Shoestring Review which opened off-Broadway February 28, 1955 at the President Theatre in New York. The show also starred B. Arthur, Doddy Goodman, Keita Rivera, and Jane Connell. Equals Early television and film roles equals, Johnson appeared three times in the 1955 a Euro 1956 CBS sitcom It's Always Jan, starring Janice Page and Mary Anders. In 1958, he joined the cast of the short-lived NBC sitcom, Sally, starring Joan Caulfield. In it he played Bascom Bleacher, Jr., the son of a co-owner of a department store, Bascom, S.R., portrayed by Gail Gordon. In 1960, he played Ariel Lavalera in the film adaptation of Jack Kerouac's novel The Subterraneans. In 1960 and 1961, he was cast in three episodes of Jackie Cooper's military sitcom drama series, Henzi, also on CBS. The following year, he played Mr. Bates in the episode A Secret Life on Alfred Hitchcock Presents. He was cast in an episode of Frank Aletta's sitcom, Bringing Up Buddy. He also appeared in The Whole Truth, a 1961 episode of The Twilight Zone, as an underpaid car salesman who punches dishonest used car lot owner Jack Carson. Before his big breakthrough in Laugh In, Johnson appeared as Corporal Coogan in the 1962 episode The Handmade Private of the anthology series, G.E. True, hosted by Jack Webb. Johnson appeared in a comedic role as Charlie, a boom microphone operator who demonstrates to Jack Benny how to tell a joke properly, on the Jack Benny program, aired on October 2, 1964. The joke performed in the sketch was The Ugly Baby Story later associated with Flip Wilson. In 1965, he made a first-season guest appearance on the ABC's sitcom, Bewitched as Samantha's cousin Edgar. A mute elf, Edgar is initially sent to observe and undermine Samantha's marriage a Euro all with the blessing of Endora. Once he sees how happily married Samantha and Aaron Stevens are, Edgar reverses his mischief and gives his blessing to their still new marriage. Johnson appeared in one of the final episodes of ABC's The Donna Reed Show in 1966. He was cast in the 1967 satirical James Coburn film The President's Analyst, in which he gave a comically chilling performance as a federal agent with a blindly obedient orders are orders mentality. In 1968, he acted in the season 3 episode of Lost in Space, Princess of Space. Johnson played the traitorous robot space pirate feeder helping the machines to win the war. Johnson also starred in the 1971 episode of Rod Serling's Night Gallery entitled The Flip Side of Satan, playing ruthless, fringe leather vested, disc jockey J.J. J. Wilson, who is forced to confront his past transgressions. Equals Laugh In Equals, Johnson is best known for his work on Rowan and Martin's Laugh In an American television series broadcast from 1967 to 1973. He played various characters including Wolfgang, a smoking World War II German soldier, still fighting the war, who scouted the show from behind a bush. He would then invariably comment on the preceding sketch with the catchphrase very interesting, followed by either a comic observation or misinterpretation, or simply, but stupid. Often toward the show's close, he would offer words of affection to Lucy and Gary. 
The Lucy Show was on CBS in direct competition with NBC's Laugh-In on Monday night. Laugh-In was a full-hour show while Lucy was a traditional 30-minute sitcom. Lucy was pretty much the only show that could survive airing opposite Laugh-In. Johnson indicated later that the phrase came from Desperate Journey, a 1942 World War II film with Errol Flynn and Ronald Reagan playing Royal Air Force pilots shot down in Nazi Germany. They managed to cross much of the country without speaking German, or knowing the territory, but, when captured, their Nazi interrogator doubts their story by saying very interesting. Johnson reprised the role while voicing the Nazi-inspired character Vermin Wunderbar on an episode of Justice League Unlimited. His other iconic laugh-in character was Tyrone F. Hornet, the white-haired, trenchcoat-wearing dirty old man, who repeatedly sought to seduce Gladys Ormfby, on a park bench. Tyrone would enter the scene, muttering a song, and, spying Gladys on the bench, would sit next to her. He would ask two related leading questions, each earning him a hard whack from a shocked Gladys's purse. His third statement would be an appeal for medical assistance, at which point he would fall off the bench. Referring to an only moderately popular candy made from caramel and walnuts, Tyrone would also frequently ask Gladys, how about a walnetto? Years after Laughing ended, the two characters were made into an animated Saturday morning children's show, Baggy Pants and the Nitwits with Tyrone as a helpful, muttering superhero. Art and his brother, Koss, earned their Emmy Awards while working on Laugh In. Equals Later Work Equals, in 1973, Johnson guest starred in an episode of the situation comedy A Touch of Grace. In 1974, he appeared in the first season of the Detroit-produced children's show Hot Fudge. He also appeared, for one week in 1974, as a celebrity guest panelist on the game show Match Game. In the late 1970s, he was a semi-regular celebrity guest panelist on The Gong Show. In 1976, he played the animated cartoon character Mr. Jaw, a blue, German-accented shark, who liked to leap out of the water and shout here gotcha! or gotcha! at unsuspecting folks on the Pink Panther Laugh and a Half Hour and a Half show. He also voiced the character Rhubarb on the Hound Cats. Also in 1976, he appeared as a guest on Canadian TV show Celebrity Cooks with host Bruno Gerossi and a clip from his episode was featured in the opening credits until the show ended in 1987. In September 1977, Johnson appeared on an episode of the NBC daytime version of Wheel of Fortune as a substitute letter turner, both to fill in for an injured Susan Stafford and to promote his short-lived NBC game show Knockout, which aired through early 1978. Instead of being introduced by the show's announcer, he would start the show with a small monologue, then the announcer would introduce the day's contestants. In 1979, he was cast as Renfield, the comic sidekick of George Hamilton's Dracula in the surprise box office smash, Love at First Bite. The following year he appeared in the all-star television disaster movie Condominium. In 1985, he voiced Weird in The Thirteen Ghosts of Scooby-Doo, and played a disgruntled employee denied severance pay in an episode of Airwolf. He also voiced several characters, such as, Dr. Ludwig von Strangebeck and Count Ray on two episodes of DuckTales, Devil Smurf on the Smurfs, Top Cat and Lou on Yo-Yogi, Newt on Amy Maniacs and many other shows. In 1990, Johnson appeared in an episode of Night Court. From 1991 to 1992 Johnson appeared in multiple episodes of General Hospital as Finian O'Toole. He has performed more than 80 audiobook readings, including Gary Steyart's Absurdistan and Carl Hyannison's Bad Monkey. In 2005, he appeared in the Justice League Unlimited episode The Ties That Bind as the voice of Vermin Wunderbar. Personal life, Johnson lives in Southern California with his wife, Gislan. He is a non-Hodgkin's lymphoma survivor, having been diagnosed and successfully treated in 1997. References External links, Art Johnson at the Internet Movie Database